Dr. Dre here. Today we're going up the pooper. Should be fun. Let's do it. Yeah, we're doing a colonoscopy. Basically, all I know is you put a camera up your pooper, and it looks for stuff. So yeah, should be fun, right? That's always fun. Going up the poopers, I'll... Well, I shouldn't Hello, say that. Hello, and okay. welcome to Surgery Squad's virtual colonoscopy. I'm Dr. Jeff. Hi, and Jeff. I haven't seen you in a while. this colon today. <laughs> also it. known He's as the large the intestine, colon. the colon is responsible yeah, for the good. final stages of the digestion. It absorbs remaining water and electrolytes from indigestible food, accepts and stores food remains that weren't digested in the small intestine, and eliminates solid waste from the body. A colonoscopy allows your doctor to view inside your entire colon using a device called an endoscope. That looks really high tech. As the scope moves into your colon, Just look your up the doctor butt. views oh, the output oh, on a ooh, monitor it's like an to alien check for growths okay. or polyps. Didn't prepare for that. I thought it would there just be like a little parts to the colon. wormhole or something. The cecum ascending, the transverse, the descending, and the sygnoid. A colonoscopy this, a can check each one of these areas. Jesus, there's names the for The one each thing part. about having a colonoscopy is that a doctor can find polyps and remove them immediately. What is that? This is the most what effective the way to prevent the development like of colon rectal cancer. Colon. Jesus. However, you'll need to cleanse your colon 24 hours before the test okay. by taking laxatives or performing a fleet enema. A also, flea enema? use of the endoscope might what? accidentally tear the colon walls and cause bleeding. Plus, oh, you'll need to no be sedated deal. during the exam, which should take about 30 minutes or longer if any polyps are found. We have a 53-year-old oh. female waiting for her colonoscopy. You didn't have to tell me her Let's age. Let's get scrubbed and take care of this. Okay. Our patient is lying on her left side, knees drawn up to her stomach. Why She's are you telling me this? Gown, I, I don't care. She draped over her. <laughs> Let's set her up like with an IV drip the sedative. Okay. <laughs> She's lying on her side, wearing a gown. Oh, there we go. Doing the old sedative tan removal. Insert the needle into the vein. I've done this like four times now. I, I got this shit stat. There we go. So, I think Susie talks to me when I do this. And at least Jeff doesn't. He just kind of goes with it. He's like, you know how to do this shit. Great. Just do it. Now we'll wait a few minutes for the sedative to take effect. All right. Our patient is sedated <laughs> and ready. She stated that she's like cleansed her hole. colon. And I've this already a used hole. a lubricated, gloved finger to check for blockage. Oh, have you, Dr. Jeff? Be sure Jeff? to tell the patient you that she should breathe slowly cat, through you? her mouth to relax her stomach muscles if she feels cramping. We'll insert the endoscope into the <laughs> anus <laughs> and slowly move it into the colon. What is that thing? The endoscope is that a contains grabber? a small camera and light okay. and a pair of forceps oh, so is. we can remove any polyps we find. Okay. First, let's lubricate the scope for easy insertion <laughs> and passage through the colon. <laughs> Dr. Jeff's lubricating jelly. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> the sound. Jesus, how far is this thing going? Okay, there we go. It's all lubed. It's good Carefully to go. Carefully insert the scope into the patient's <laughs> anus and slowly move it into the colon. What are we doing? Why do you guys watch these? Like, seriously. I'm putting a camera in an anus on YouTube right now. That's the, We that's can watch what the I camera's do. output on the monitor. Oh, God. We're into the rectum now. What is Nothing going on? Nothing so far. Oh, yeah. Okay, Let's Dr. move Jeff. on into the sygnoid colon. Okay. Slow and steady. Oh. You're doing oh, a great job. Oh, why is it brown? Job. No. Descending I... colon's next. Okay. Now's a good time to remind our patient to breathe slowly breathe, through her please. mouth as we do the exam. We're going up. We're going deep. Really? What is going on? What is the... the all right, that's what it looks let's like. move okay. into the transverse colon. Jesus. Transverse, that's the one that curves, I remember that. So we're doing a hard right or left? Uh-oh, uh -oh. looks like we've got a small polyp in the transverse colon. We'll okay. use the forceps to remove it. Yep. Got it. And I just pull it. There we go. Fine work. We'll need Thanks. to remove the scope so we can bring the polyp out. First, let's just use leave some it in heat there. to cauterize the can't, spot. Seriously, and can't you just leave it there? It's going to come out anyways. Uh, yeah, okay, so I don't know what he said. Oh! Fantastic. Oh, it burnt it. Okay, Let's so slowly withdraw our it. scope and get that polyp out. Oh, coming out. Oh. <laughs> Let's go back in to check noise. the rest of her colon. Okay, we're going... We're <laughs> going in again. Remember there. the name of the colon where we found the polyp? The, the turny right. one. The transverse colon. No, I said turny one, not transverse. But yeah, thank... Oh, what's going on? We went a bit to the right. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Why is there so many sounds? You really have to put the sounds in here? Okay. There it is. That's the transverse one. I remember it changed color. Look at this. This is... This, I don't I don't know how I get to these games, I tell you. Okay. It looks good. It looks clean. Good stuff. You must have had a flea in him. 
as they said. Oh, there, Back look, in the there it is. I seen it. Now. I seen the one we did. Everything's looking fine, and yep. you're doing a great job. Thanks. Now's also a good time to remind our patient to breathe, breathe. through her mouth slowly. Where, where, where else do you breathe, Dr. Colon. I, I, I guess your nose. There's another one. Oh. Let's take it out the same way we did the other. Okay. Here we go. And I love how it just, like, pulls it off. It doesn't cut it. It just ranks it off. And then we cauterize it. There we go. Nice and closed for you. We're going to pull that thing out now. Back in the ascending corner now. And we move into the cecum. What the f And all looks good. No, it doesn't. Let's take out the scope and get oh my our patient God. into a recovery room. Our patient what is now that? in recovery, and she'll probably be there one to two hours. She might feel bloated or need to pass gas. And since we removed I'd two say... polyps, she'll probably have a small amount of blood in her stool. We'll also do a biopsy on the polyps. She should wow. call her doctor immediately if she has heavy rectal bleeding, Jesus. lower abdominal pain, develops a fever, feels dizzy, You know what? I'll just vomits, keep those little brown things in there. Swelling in her you, you don't need to go up my ass and pull those things out. Well, good news. One week later, we're going back in. Our patient's no, polyps were benign. Since she's in her 50s and there were polyps found, oh, they, they could she be should cancerous? have a colonoscopy okay. every year. You did a great wow. job today. Doing that every year. While you're here, I don't want to get older. I really don't want to get older. Right, SurgerySquad.com. No, thank you. I'm I'm good for now. Oh. So yeah, we went up some 54-year-old lady's pooper. It was fun. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.